we can all think of that one person or maybe two people in our lives that really press our buttons in a very negative way. The ones who walk down the corridor towards us and we instantly get our we instantly have our heckles raised or perhaps those people who just have to look at you in a certain way and you know that something that's coming is going to really great. What I'd encourage you to do is to observe yourself from a um, external perspective the next time that you experience that conflict with that person and hear the words that are being used. So carry on as normal, allow your feelings and, and your emotions to work in the way they normally do and your heckles to raise if that's what happens. But just really focus on what words are the words that have the, great, uh, the greatest impact for you. What are the ones that press those buttons? What are the things that that person says that fundamentally shift you into that space where you can no longer think logically, you're no longer balanced and you're starting to feel your anger or frustration building inside? And in doing so, you will be able to then later in a time when... Um, the conflict has gone away, sit down with that person and say, actually, I've really noticed uh, a pattern in, in our conflict and that sometimes some of the things you say uh, really resonate or land badly with me. And those words tend to be this, this or this or the way you say that particular thing really doesn't work for me. And in doing so, you're taking accountability for the part of that conflict or that relationship that isn't working for you rather than disempowering yourself by continuously believing that it's the other person that has all of the control and uh, the authority in your relationship.